the SIG P365X Macro. Let's check it out. When SIG introduced their P365, it changed the face of concealed carry. It went from a lot of people carrying just single stacks with maybe six, seven, eight rounds to a really small pistol carrying 10 rounds plus. And the magazine technology was really what changed the game. When SIG introduced their P365 XL, it gave it a little bit more shootable version, a little more mag capacity, a little bigger gun, but definitely very concealable. And so now SIG has introduced their X Macro. Uh, this is the P365 series. It has a 17 plus one magazine, but it retains that super thin profile. And that's what we're getting because of that magazine technology, which SIG started. The X Macro though also has a compensator that's built into the slide, which makes it really soft to shoot. And while this is a little bit larger than even the XL, it's definitely an excellent concealed carry piece because again, it's so thin. And yet, you have really full capacity on your hip. It shoots like a full-size gun, and yet it makes a great concealed carry option. Now guys, I'm a huge fan of the P365 and the XL version, and I've been hearing a lot about the X Macro. So I was really excited when Nate at Guns on Deals got in touch with me and said he had one that was on the way. And we really appreciate the guys at Guns on Deals. They give us a lot of guns to be able to bring to you guys. The SIG P365X Macro. Okay guys, I have been hearing so much about this handgun. And it's a P365, so there's a lot of excitement over that just in itself. But we're going to look at some things right up front and compare it to a number of different guns and why this really comes in where it makes it a great concealed carry option and yet it makes it a great full-size self-defense option. So one of the things that you have to consider is with a small like P365, it's tiny, has some muzzle flip, uh, it's got a tiny grip, but it's super concealable and that's one of the big pluses. Then we show up with the P320 uh, which is a full-size handgun, very good to shoot i mean it's got a good grip to it and it's just a solid firearm again the u.s military has adopted the p320 so we're looking at compromises here but i think that sig has come out with something that really hits a sweet spot now first thing we're going to do i'm going to drop the 17 plus one magazine which is crazy just in itself and then open up and the gun is empty uh, one of the things about the x macro again is it has that extended magazine capacity but it has a very thin profile i mean just super thin just like your p365 and there are some other things about this that i really like because guys i've been carrying the p365 xl almost every day unless i really need to go deep cover then i'll grab my p365 now i do carry some other guns at times but predominantly uh, the p365 xl is on my hip i love this gun but when I look at the P365 XL and I compare it to the X Macro, I'm getting 12 rounds in the XL. I'm getting 17 rounds in the X Macro. Uh, that is very appealing. Uh, also, we have just a proprietary rail system here for whatever light I want to put on here. Uh, with the new Macro, we have a Picatinny rail system. So you can put anything on here. <laughs> Uh, another thing about this gun is that it's ported, and it's not the barrel, it's the slide. 
And so this is going to make this much flatter shooting. What's really funny is it has the same length barrel as your standard P365, which is 3.1 inches. And we're just getting that little bit of extra here at the end. Also, it is optics ready, which the P365 XL is optics ready. But you'll notice that it the plate includes the rear sight. With the X Macro, it retains the rear sight. That's a big plus. Uh, this is the Shield RMS footprint, which SIG says the SIG Romeo Zero is compatible. That also includes the Holosign 507K and any uh, red dot that will fit the Shield RMS footprint. But it is a super thin handgun. It's 1.1 inches in width. And what I find when carrying concealed is that thin profile is one of the biggest things that I like. I like it to be really thin. I like it to be up next to my body. And that way, you know, I feel more confident carrying it. Uh, but one of the problems with concealed carry is the grip. The longer the grip, the harder it is to conceal. And so this is going to be just a little bit longer. But you are really upping the magazine capacity. All the guns that I'm going to be showing have been safety checked. Now bringing back out the P320. Uh, this is the compact version, and it holds 15 rounds. Now, I'm going to show you something really interesting. Uh, with the X Macro, this one holds 17 rounds. Very little difference in height. What's really fascinating is there's very little difference in width. In fact, when I put these back to back, it is just a tiny, and I mean almost incremental, width difference. Uh, to the point that you can take your X Macro magazine and it actually seats in the 320, but it doesn't hold the slide back and I, it's not going to work. It's got a little bit of uh, movement here, so but just to show you for demonstration, uh, it will not fit in the macro because the top here. But here's the thing, guys these magazines are almost identical in width. And yet the grip on the P320 versus the X Macro is considerably larger. And I'm going to show you something that's really fascinating. How thick it is right here on the 320, and yet on the X Macro, it's super thin. They could shave some weight on this grip uh, and some dimension. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and so what we're seeing is, is technology and just innovation that's making these small, thin handguns just as capable as your full-size larger handguns, yet making them smaller and with even more round capacity. That is really big. Now, I take my 320, I put my hand around it, fills my hand. It's really nice. Um, I have medium-sized hands, so if you have larger hands, it's probably going to have a little more comfort to it. But with the grip on the X Macro, I mean, I've got a full-size grip on it. For me, this is much more comfortable. Uh, there are two additional back straps where you can make this a little bit larger if you want or smaller. Uh, this is probably the medium size. But this is one thing I think that's really an evolution in gun handling. For years, uh, the 1911 was really a larger self-defense option. It was really pretty much the self-defense option. And single stack large frame magazines. Now they started making the aluminum frame double stacks and the grips just got thicker and thicker. I grew up shooting 1911s, and that thin grip was really nice. The big problem is that the mag capacity is, you know, seven or eight rounds. <laughs> now, this is a 9mm uh, Springfield Armory Ronin EMP, and it's a 9 round magazine in 9mm, and it has one in the chamber. So I'm carrying 10 rounds. This one's hot. I'm carrying it at this point. But here, I get the feel and the thin profile of a 1911 in a sense, and yet... I don't have all that thickness, and I've got extra mag capacity. Guys, that's pretty groundbreaking, honestly. Uh, so, you know, are the thick double-stack magazine pistols, are they going to go away? <laughs> well, it just remains to be seen. I don't see that happening in the near future, but it's definitely a trend that we're going to with more capacity, thinner handgun, smaller handgun, and yet just as capable. Uh, and this will shoot like a full size if not better because of the ported slide now with that short barrel it makes it a little bit more muzzle rise and so these compensators should make it very effective now let me just kind of throw this out first i have not shot this gun yet i was so intrigued by some of the differences and things that the sig macro has come up with 
that I really wanted to show those first before I take it out to the range. And then we'll talk about the performance. Uh, but shooting the XL, I love shooting it. Uh, it's just a good solid gun. Uh, the P365, I'm not, a, I'm not adverse to shooting it. I really like shooting it. Uh, I just get good control over it and, you know, just make sure I master the handgun. It's not that snappy, but it is a little more snappy than a larger frame pistol. So I think SIG is really coming in with a model that kind of goes to a full size. Now for me, when I'm carrying deep concealment, I've got my P365. It's easy to conceal, uh, especially those places where I just don't want to print. Uh, but if I'm really wanting to be a little up my game a little bit, then I can jump on the X Macro. Now, one competitor to the X Macro is the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro. Uh, and this is actually a 15 round magazine compared to the 17 round that's in the SIG X Macro. Slides pretty much the same. I think that the Springfield Armory may have it beat just a touch, a little thinner. Same length of slide, but we have a longer barrel in the Hellcat Pro, which may give you a little better performance. But we have those comps on the X Macro, which are gonna give it a lot of help in making it very shootable. Also at the grip, we have 15 rounds, we have 17 rounds, and we barely have a magazine base pad difference. So really very comparable in a lot of ways. But to really throw a monkey wrench in things, we have the Springfield Armory RDP, and this comes with a compensator on the end and threaded onto the barrel. And so that is just one of the models that they produce. I really like this gun. I like the way it shoots. The compensator makes a big difference. So comps have their place, and especially for these smaller pistols. In fact, some of the uh, Smith & Wesson Performance Center, Shield, Shield Plus, and their EZ have compensators built in. Some people say that it will mess up your night vision. I have shot a lot of these at night, and I have not found that. Let's just talk about the features of this gun. Uh, first off, it is optics ready. It does retain the rear sight, big plus. Uh, we do have our comps that are integral into the slide, so there's no turning of the compensator possibility or anything else, so that makes it good. Uh, the Picatinny rail is a great upgrade because of the proprietary rail of the original SIG P365 and XL. Flat face trigger comes with it automatically. Uh, we don't have a safety. There may be a safety uh, option out there, but uh, no safety, which I like. The texturing is that SIG P365 texturing, which is excellent. It is a high ride on the grip, and you do have this cutout, and that really makes it nice to be able to get high up on the pistol. Uh, the sights are the X-ray night day sights, and so we have tritium inserts, but they're really easy to pick up night or day. Uh, if you put an optic on here, these will not co-witness. You could put higher sights if you want. The 1.1 inch thickness of the slide is exceptional. I love it. Again, I find that the hardest part to conceal, other than the grip, and the most comfortable way to carry is a very thin handgun. And so this fits the bill. Uh, front and rear cocking serrations has a nitron finish on it, which is proprietary for SIG. Uh, we have the X and P365. Magazine release, little triangle, really easy to drop those mags out uh, and it can be switched to the other side. Now the beaver tail has a little bit of a different feel to it. Uh, it has a, a cavity more toward the back whereas on the XL it's just rounded off. Uh, I thought that it might be a little bit extended but I really feel like that they're pretty much the same in dimensions, just a little bit different style. And if you already have a P365 or the XL, uh, the X Macro Mint mags will fit, and that'll give you 17 rounds. It has that long gap, but it does work. Let's try the trigger action. Again, that flat blade trigger. We have take up, little stacking, and the typical SIG P365 break. It's not all that definite. Uh, with the reset, it comes out pretty good. Uh, you know, to me, the SIG trigger is not just something to rave about. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, I like the flat face because it gives me the, the correct geometry bringing it back. But otherwise, it's a SIG P365 trigger. Let me check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge and brown ales. Four pounds, seven ounces. Four pounds, 14.2 ounces. Weight on the P365X Macro, one pound, 5.2 ounces. Weight on the P365XL, 
one pound, 4.4 ounces. Weight on the P365, one pound, 2.4 ounces. We'll go ahead and bring in the P320. This is the compact, one pound, 9.8 ounces. We really appreciate Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, all made in the USA, one of the largest suppliers of ammunition in the country. Also, again, as always, we appreciate our little loaders for saving our thumbs. Tell you what, guys, that comp makes a huge difference. You know, I, I didn't really think about it. I thought maybe with this threaded, it may, you know, produce more uh, muzzle control. But it's right outside the barrel, and it just brings it down every time. Uh, the grip, I like it. Uh, you know, it's that P365 grip, but it's longer, and so it gives you more leverage. Um, it is tight. Uh, the slide is a little bit tight at first, and that we'll see how that works out. Of course, a red dot would go naturally on here. Even with the Picatinny rail, now you can put lights on it. Uh, the flat face trigger, it's really smooth. The sights, I really like these sights. Um, the x Knight sights, SIG does a great job with their sights. But, you know, compared to the P365XL, I mean, it's, you know, it's got a little more muzzle flip. And then when you take it down to the P365 original, it definitely has a lot more muzzle flip. This really gives you a, a compact, thin gun with 17 rounds. It's bigger, and you have to decide if that's for you. But uh, I'm really liking it. Smooth like butter. What's funny is that little barrel sticking out. <laughs> that just looks different. But when it comes to accuracy, uh, we had two really good groups shooting just a touch low, and uh, that was probably me aiming. But um, the camera died, so I didn't get to get the shots, but really good groups, and these are the first two groups I shot. So I like this. Now there are a couple of issues that I do want to address with the SIG Macro. Uh, first off, uh, we had around in the chamber, we loaded a full magazine, which was a little bit difficult to get into the grip. Uh, once we did, when we shot the gun, we had one malfunction and it just didn't quite get the brass out. I think that it was riding really close on that full mag. Uh, we didn't have any other issues malfunction wise with the pistol. But one thing we did notice was when we did have a full magazine and we went to rack the slide, it is fairly stiff. Uh, and so pulling this back, I mean, it is, it's stiff anyway. Uh, so, you know, that is one thing to consider. But otherwise, again, we didn't have any other malfunctions. Disassembly. Drop your magazine, check to make sure it's unloaded. Just like your standard SIG, bring it back and put it in slide lock. Take your slide lever, bring it down and then release your slide and it comes right off. There's no pulling of the trigger. Recoil spring, guide rod, I love the flat recoil spring. That aids in recoil. Uh, steel guide rod. Barrel is your P365 barrel, uh, 3.1 inch. And then we have the interior of the slide, which is extremely well done, which is SIG's signature. And also, this has not been shot yet, so we're gonna see how that goes. Um, here we have the chassis. That's a big plus for the SIG P365 pistols. Um, and then I can change out my grip shells. I can take this out and replace it with others. Uh, I can get different slides. I mean, there's so many different things you can do. In fact, Wilson Combat makes a really cool grip shell uh, that you can put on here if you want something a little thicker and a little different type texturing. And I'm sure there are other companies that do that as well. But this is considered the firearm. The frame itself is just a grip shell. So pretty much that is all you need to do to field strip and for maintenance, uh, we drop in our barrel, recoil spring and guide rod. And then just bring it back over your slide and frame. Lock it and the lever will go straight up. Drop it, enter a magazine, pull the trigger and we're back in business. As far as price goes on gun zone deals, these are $7.99. Uh, I've seen them for that much and more in a number of different places. 
Uh, there's no MSRP that I've seen listed. And then with the extra work that's done, uh, with the uh, slide work done with the compensator, and of course that magazine, uh, you know, it's just going to run a little bit more. Plus, these are in high demand right now because it hasn't been out that long. So guys, if you want a full capacity concealed carry option, and yet it's super thin, easy to carry, and it shoots like a dream. Honestly, that built-in compensator makes this a really flat shooting handgun. The X Macro is definitely something to take a look at. And guys, I'm a big fan again of the P365 series. And while this is a larger firearm, it gives you a lot more capability. And we really appreciate Gun Zone Deals for sending the X Macro for this review. And guys, it gives us a chance to check it out and it gives us a chance to tell you what we think about it. Man, I love this handgun. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Now bringing back out the P36, this 320. For sending the P365X Macro. And how thin it is on the X Macro. And it's not much, but 